Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of We Just Nerd Here's Toy Chest. I'm Josh, and today, as promised, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Masterpiece Collection Optimus Prime that was available for sale at San Diego Comic Con 2019. Um, and just look at the figure in the box here. I'm just going to bring this up to you. Just, God, that's beautiful, isn't it? The Ecto-35 Edition Optimus Prime. Uh, in case you missed our last video, our first video, uh, this figure goes along with another figure, the GameStop exclusive Ectotron. And I figured out where Slimer goes. If you've watched the last video, I just kind of sat him around. and So he actually rides on what becomes the uh, Neutrona Blaster. And I was able to get that darn blue cable back in. So, yeah. Here's a closer look at Ectotron. I realized after I hit stop that I didn't zoom in on the car itself. So here we go. Like I said, no, no rear license plate, but damn, is it beautiful. I mean, so yeah, don't worry. I'll get, I'll get staging and all that down eventually. Zoom out here. Good. All right. So starting off with anything is Nemo would kill me if I didn't mention it. The box. This box is my favorite box of all time. I thought the Loot Crate exclusive Ghostbusters crate was the end all be all. This one puts that one to shame. I mean, you have straps here on the front so that you can actually wear this as a backpack. Uh, having never been to San Diego Comic-Con, I can only imagine what a pain in the ass it is to carry this stuff around all day. So the fact that you could actually wear this uh, probably saved a lot of people. Uh, it is a, a co-branded piece, like I mentioned in the last video. 2019 is the 35th anniversary of both Transformers and Ghostbusters. And to celebrate, IDW has done this amazing crossover. I've only read the first issue, uh, but it looks really promising. And so Hasbro, who has the licenses, did these two crossover figures. And I wouldn't mind seeing an entire line based on this crossover. Uh, a Transforming Stay Puft? Come on, that would be killer. Uh, moving on to the back, here you go, the beautifully branded uh, Transformers, I'm just going to call it the Transformers Proton Pack, because right here where the Cyclotron would be, you do have the Autobot logo, and the slime, like, it, there's so much detail that went into the box, I, I'm definitely not getting rid of it when the, once this review is done, but, oh, god, this thing is just... Yeah, I, I want to wear it every day. Like I want, When I get a job, I just want to take it and, and make it my lunchbox. But without further ado, let's open it up. Uh, unlike last time, I already cut open the box, so this should be hopefully easy. Don't damage the box. Okay, that was, I've never been so afraid to pull something out of the box before in my life, so, ooh, that was nerve-wracking. Okay, saw the instructions. All right. So there's a look at it outside the box. Uh, let's see how many easy steps this one takes. If you watched the last video, you saw that I struggled a little bit, and it looks like I'm going to struggle a little bit with this one. He transforms in 26 easy steps. So, And then there's alternate modes that we'll take a look at as well. So, uh, yeah, so much going on here. I love it. All right. So let's see. I'm just going to grab my knife and start uh, slicing and dicing.
All right, we're back. And uh, this thing was a beast to get out of the box, let me tell you that. But plenty of rubber bands and other fun stuff. So, But let's take a look at what came in the box, shall we? So like before, we have a Slimer figure. And this time it's a little different. This one is painted. So it's not just a uh, translucent little guy. It's a full, beautiful little spud. Look at that. So happy to be here on the show. And again, there's his ass, warts and all. So that's how you can tell if it's a good Slimer, if it's got a warty ass. War warty rump. All right, and then uh, here we have this, which you can put Slimer on top of. The beautiful Ghost Trap. Let's see. There we go. Look at the detail on that. The Ghostbusters logo on the front. The trap. All the lights. The It doesn't actually light up, but that's really cool. We'll see what it does later. Then we have a little blaster here. And this thing, uh, got to figure out how to get the camera to stop. There we go. This transforms a little bit, so that'll be interesting to see what it does. Then my favorite piece, and really excited that it's metal. Uh, the Autobot Matrix of Leadership. Don't focus on me. The Autobot Matrix of Leadership. I just want to put on some Stan Bush right now and hold this in my hand. Just, it's beautiful. It, just such good detail all around. So, yeah. And finally, now this thing's going to fall apart when I pick it up, but unless I can get a good hold. Look at that beautiful truck. I'm just going to pull it apart. We'll take a look at the trailer here. So there you go. It's got the 555-2368 uh, on the side. That's the number for the Ghostbusters, uh, if you remember that from the movie. And we're ready to believe you painted on the side with the, and the, the yellow caution striping everywhere because, you know, Ghostbusters wouldn't be Ghostbusters without yellow caution stripe. The image is, on the, is the same on both sides. All right, and the little slime splatter, I'm loving that. And then the, uh, what will become a proton pack, I'm sure, right on the top there. And then finally, the, uh, the doors in the back. So, yeah, I'm excited. Let's open those doors and see if we can't get Ectotron to fit in. Yeah, it uh, opens up and it little ramp pulls out. All right, so let's zoom out and I'll see if we can't uh, figure out how to fit Ectotron in here. Slimer's got to come off. Oh no. Okay, he does not fit with the roof rack on. I just got this put back together in the break. Okay. The things I do for you people. Well, that is slightly disappointing. Oh. Lame. Well, he does go in but the doors don't close. So that that's really disappointing. There isn't, doesn't appear to be anything in there I can take out to get him to fit. There's a, a piece we'll probably see later when we transform that is preventing that. But you know, still a fun concept. Uh, too bad it didn't work. Another four centimeters is all those would have taken. 
I guarantee you opening those doors just now is going to be the easiest thing I do with this entire beast. So it's, uh, I'm not going to fiddle fart around with this right now. Kind of get it together and set it to the side. All right. So uh, now let's take a look at the cab. And the, the chrome elements here on the cab are just gorgeous. Uh, it's very heavy. Uh, I mentioned in the Ectotron video, I still haven't thought of the word because flimsy isn't right, but uh, this, def it feels substantial. This one feels substantial. And then right here in the front, we have the Ecto-35 license plate. And you can see that the windows are tinted a, a kind of green, slimy color. Uh, yeah. The, uh, I'm guessing these are going to end up being the feet, maybe. But they are die cast, so nice, sturdy metal pieces there. I always like to see that. Uh, yeah. So uh, you have the Ghostbusters logo on one side. And then the Autobot logo on the other. So, yeah, I really, really like this. I can't wait to transform it and see what happens. Oh, hey, look at the little windows on the sides. Uh, the side view mirrors, they pop out just a little bit. Give you a little depth there. That's a nice touch. This is my first Hasbro Masterpiece figure. I'll zoom out again. I got to remember to zoom in and out. There you are. Okay. So give me give me a break on that for now, guys. I'm going to get better, I promise. And I'm going to get better at talking to you. It's uh, still a little weird. I've uh, never done an episode of We Just Nerd here without my nerd crew. So doing this by myself is definitely a new experience. But we're going to get better and have a lot of fun. So, all right. Now, uh... Unlike last time where I said you have a choice, I'm going to be time-lapsing through the rest of this so you get to watch me transform it. Uh, from time to time, I might stop in and show you a fun detail, but let's go ahead and roll out. All right, guys, so here I am on step 13, 14, and he's starting to look a little optimus -y, but I'm stuck, so you get to watch me fiddle for a little while longer. Don't worry, I'm going to speed it up again right after this. Um, one thing I do like is through the windshield there, you can see the Ecto-35 license plate. So that's pretty cool. All right, back to figuring this out. All right, well, I'll take this opportunity to show you that I did that much. He's uh, looking very much like a transformer now, not just a truck, so. Let's uh, see if I can't figure out these legs now. All right, so I had to go to the internet because the internet is a wonderful thing to figure out how to get his legs to extend. Uh, on the back, it's showing, like, step 21, it shows me this weird little buttons on the back, but... Uh, Apparently you just have to pull really, really hard. Uh, it goes against every intuition you might have, because you feel like you're going to break it, but you just pull. Pull really hard. So, yeah, that took longer than it should have, but I ain't breaking a, a toy that I paid more than I'd like to admit. So, all right, now he's standing. He's standing up real good, okay. 
flaps come down. All right, so we're almost done with the transforming part, so I'm not gonna not gonna time lapse you anymore, unless you guys really want me to. But who wants that? All right. These just come down in the back. I don't know. Okay. So, oh. Okay. Pull on his arms. His arms are not as uh, stiff as his legs were, so nothing scary there. Pull some flaps around on his legs. Ooh. I'm liking that coloring. A lot. I finally understand what one of the steps was from long ago to cover the tires. So, there we are. Okay, so now he's standing up. Alright, well there you go. He is fully transformed now. Fully uh, articulated, fully realized, fully optimus. So here we go. Um, I love it. I just transformed my first Optimus Prime. Uh, you know, 17 year old Josh is mad at him because he didn't have the ability to do that. 33-year-old Josh barely has the ability to do it as well, so let's zoom in here. Just look at the detailing on that. The chrome parts, the translucent red. I'm loving those vents on his legs. They just give it that red pop that it needs. And you can still see now together the Ghostbusters logo on uh, one side and uh, Transformers on the other the Autobot logo there, and here is a better shot of the license plate right there in the chest cavity. I'm going to flip him around. Not much on the back, you know, just pretty standard. I used to be a truck, now I'm a robot look. Yeah, all right, so let's see what else this guy can do. Um, so I have instructions here on assembling the proton pack. Don't fall over, please. Um, hey, there are some instructions here on trapping ghosts. Aim proton blaster connected to your proton pack at ghost and release proton stream. Keep waving it around and try to connect the stream to the ghost. May cause slight damage to the infected room. Make room for the trap. Open trapped. Activate trap. Do not look directly into trap. Do not cross streams. May cause total protonic reversal, causing all life as we know it to stop instantaneously and every molecule in your body to explode at the speed of light. Tip. Physical contact with ghost may leave slimy ectoplasmic residue. It was nice of, of these guys to uh, to include those little safety tips there. Let's see. Before I do the proton pack, let's see if there's anything else. Oh, it looks like we can transform this into an ectobase. So the trailer actually will transform into ectobase. And it looks like the... Oh, yeah, look at that. The, uh, the ghost trap comes apart, and it's got a little vehicle in there for your Ghostbusters to ride around in. Um, cool. Okay. From this. Oops. No. Yes. Now. 
you know, it's never a good idea to let little pieces fall off of your new toy. I don't like that. Let's hope it goes back on. Okay. Good, good. I don't have to cry. Because no one wants to see that. I'm an ugly crier. Okay, and then, oh, and the big gun. Supposed to fit in here. What am I doing wrong? Oh, it doesn't go in there. It sits on top of the other one. Okay. But then once you transform it this way, it actually is supposed to hook on to the front of your trailer, like so, so you can turn it into Ecto Base. Or just have it sit there. I don't know. All right, well, let's see if we can't transform this thing into ectobase. There's lots of little parts running around. All right, so we got it opened up. And this part right here, these little walls, those are what prevented me from putting Ectotron in here before. So you can see how it's just a little bit too long in the back. So those walls are in there. They're not coming out. So that's unfortunate, but understandable. You know, can't be perfect. Can't have everything, right? Let's see. This is what the inside looks like. And we're going to transform this into Ecto Base. So, so the crap in the back comes down. And then, uh, okay. That pops up. Nothing else in there moves around. This arm comes out like that. And we can close it up. Oh, hey. That's kind of cool. So it sticks out of the top like that. Okay, and then... Push it down, turn it around. Okay, we got a little satellite dish thing. So now I'm a little, I'm looking ahead in the instructions here, and I'm kind of disappointed because it's showing me something that I do not have, and I hope I didn't lose it. But, uh, so yeah, this is, this is Ectobase, you know, and all of its finished glory right here. But then in the instructions, it's telling me that you can put people in here. And it might just be, you know, some fun stuff in the instructions, but 
it does have an illustration with uh, a Ghostbuster in the cockpit. So, going to have to look for that, I guess. That's kind of disappointing. Unless it's hidden somewhere on this. I Hmm. Maybe they're inside here. Maybe I just missed them. Oh, no, I didn't miss them. But there are more places inside for your non existent tiny humans to sit. There's another seat right here and over here. So, huh. Okay, well, I'm going to find out more on that uh, when I get a chance, but for now, let's pack this up and see what else we do with it, yeah? Okay, so the Matrix of Leadership, let's go ahead and fold this back up too and make it a ghost trap, because I like the ghost trap. Just have to remember this piece on top right here is very, very delicate, so be careful with that. And uh, let's get old Optimus back. So we open up his chest and lift up the front here. And lo and behold, a nice little spot for our matrix of leadership. Dun, 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 dun. So yeah, it just fits right there in the chest cavity. Come on. Zoom. There we go. I'll get better at this, I promise. There we go. There's some light in there. I'll just close them up. And it is tucked away, ready to light our darkest hour. Now, I know in my last video, I may have sounded like I wasn't a fan of Transformers, but I really am. Uh, I just didn't have the toys. So, the mythology, the lore, the comics, the, the cartoon, uh, some of the newer stuff that they've done in the last few years has been fantastic. So, uh, I even, I don't mind a couple of the Michael Bay movies even. So, I said it. You can hate me. I don't care. All right. And then finally, well, we still have to do the proton pack. And then there's one last thing to look at. It transforms into an ecto maintenance dock, which looks pretty darn cool. So, but first, let's proton pack. So, I'm guessing it's going to be fairly similar to what we saw with the other proton pack. But I can already tell I like this one a little bit more. Oh. Okay, so this little piece on the back comes off. Okay, so there's a little button here hidden underneath this piece. And when you push it, blaster pops out. So that's cool. I'm looking at the instructions going, where is this piece? And it's been here the whole time attached already, so I don't have to go ahead and attach it. Slug that in. All right, and then on the back, we have this nice big piece. That, looking at the instructions has another purpose in a minute. But for now, again, I, the scale of the of the proton packs is just off for these large transformers. I mean, they're definitely bigger than uh, 
you know, a standard proton pack, but they're also, they just look kind of weird. They need to be just a little bit bigger. I'm not talking, you know, make them like this, you know, but just a, a little larger. Now, right off the bat, take a look at this, uh, at this proton pack compared to the Ectotron. And again, just detail. I, I get why they call this a masterpiece figure. Okay, looking at that, and then there's the Ectotron in my hand there. Uh, not, not as detailed, not as pretty. Um, I would not want to be the uh, malevolent spirit at the end of that uh, proton blaster there. That is just, oh, that's something the Holtzman would have come up with for sure. She might have. Who knows? Uh, yeah, I, God, I love this figure. I mean, it's everything anyone who loved both franchises as a kid probably had a dream about. I know for me personally, one of those type of dreams was I always wanted uh, Star Wars Legos because I wanted to build a land speeder for Luke to go around in. And, like, what, four years after the uh, Power of the Force collection came out, we got Star Wars Legos. So it only took them 30 years to do this. And, God, I'm very happy with the finished product. Uh, definitely going to display these in robot mode, like I said. Um, and I think this final piece, oh, and a Slimer. Nope, oh, he doesn't sit on top of that one. Okay. So, now the other cool thing is the ghost trap accessory has a little handle on it, so uh, your Optimus Prime can hold it and throw out the trap. Kind of cool, kind of fun. I like that. Alright, so let's see what this Ecto Base is. Or Ecto, Ecto. We already did Ecto Base. Ecto Maintenance Dock. So. Alright, I need this guy again. Some extra legs here, it looks like. And I'm going to fold those up. Okay, I fold up these little legs here. And then, I don't know, let's open it. Alright, so that piece comes up like this. Just sit at the top. The doors stay closed. I'll zoom out again. Sorry, guys. Hmm. Alright. And the gun folds up all nice and small. And it wants me to. Put it in Optimus's back. Maybe. This is. I never thought reviewing a Transformers toy would be so difficult for me. But there you go. You know, I'm not even going to worry about it because I can't figure it out. But it looks like this is just uh, where Optimus might go to get some uh, good old Energon.
So it provides an excellent backdrop for display, but I will say uh, there's nowhere to put the proton pack. So that is disappointing. Still though, this figure has been everything I've always wanted in a Transformer, and that is a Ghostbuster. So, uh, I kid, I joke, kind of, I don't know. I, I really like it. It was definitely something I'm incredibly happy I picked up. I did have to go to eBay. Uh, Lisa went to Comic-Con this year and did not draw out to buy one of these, so... Uh, I went ahead and, and paid the scalper price on eBay, which wasn't too bad, but definitely definitely up there with Comic-Con purchases I've made in the past. So, oh wait, no, there is a place for the gun. It doesn't have to go inside Optimus. So you just push the button on the back, shorten it up. Anyway, in the picture, it's like, it's right here, so. Yeah, so it just goes right in there. All right. Well, that is our review of the Ecto-35 Optimus Prime, uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Uh, these videos are a lot uh, lot harder to do. I mean, the, the editing that must go into the, the ones I've seen online, it's going to be fun to, uh, to do that with this one. Uh, lots of dead air, lots of uh, internal cursing, lots of external cursing. Uh, yeah, but I, I definitely like doing this. I mean, if you guys like me doing it, let me know and I'll keep doing it. Uh, Hasbro, if you want to send me any more of these awesome figures that you might be coming out with uh, later this year, I will take them and happily review them here. Uh, up next, our next video, I think... Um, you know, Lego sent me something to review, and, you know, it's nothing, it's not one of the great big sets or anything like that, but it should be a fun build. So I'll go ahead and uh, plan on that being our next video, and then we'll dive into Comic-Con again. Uh, the Lego thing just came in the mail, so I will, uh, yeah, definitely work on that right after this, maybe later tonight or tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, so... Final thoughts, uh, this Ecto uh, charging station or maintenance bay or whatever definitely makes an excellent backdrop. Uh, I want to know whether or not I'm missing pieces and that there is a tiny Ghostbuster that goes in the cockpit here. Uh, the Ghost Trap and Slimer are just freaking beautiful. I... I don't know. I love everything about this. Even even my gripes. I have uh, I have little to complain about other than the instructions. Basically, uh, they need to be more clear. Uh, maybe color instructions instead of uh, blueprint style. I don't know. And then, as before, proton pack needs to be just just a little bigger. Not not even too horribly big. Just like that. You know. I don't know. That's just me. Other people might like it. It still looks good. Doesn't look bad at all. I'm definitely going to display it. Well, probably like this. or No, not like this. I'm going to have the trailer next to him. Anyway, you don't care how I'm going to display it. You'll see it in the background of some future video. Uh, all in all, I'm going to go ahead and give this one a higher score than Ectotron. Uh, this one's getting a 9.7 out of 10. Uh, I think the detail does it, the, the colorized Slimer, the detail on the proton pack, and just the, the little tiny details all over, um, and that, that metal matrix of leadership, uh, you can't go wrong with that. So that does it for this vid. Uh, like and subscribe, as always. You can listen to We Just Nerd here on Odyssey at odysy1.com. You can also download us wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. Um, 
please review us there so more people can find us. Uh, you can also join us on Patreon with the lovely Janice, Bathong Ibon, Mr. Raleigh, and Mr. Butt. Uh, that's right, we have four patrons now. We're moving up in the world. Um, so yeah, that about does it. Until next time, we just nerd here, and now you do too. Bye-bye.